it's had been a long time since I'd done a vlog, and so um, I thought I'd remedy that situation and uh, and well do one. Um, nothing terribly new to report. Um, <clears throat> as some of you know who follow me on Twitter, um, I just uh, got done uh, uh, going to my uh, usual weekly Bible study. Uh, by the way, anyone who wants to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter name is the same as it is here. It's Aurora Nebulosa. Yes, it is uh, Latin for my first and middle name, if you're wondering. I'm sure a lot of people have wondered that in the past. In any case, returning to my main point from my uh, Cosecan squared, or as it were, tangent. Um, <clears throat> I just returned from Bible study, and um, the uh, house where we meet, it's, it's like a little house church thing, uh, the house where we meet uh, finally got me hooked up to the wireless uh, network. Rather, the people in it got me hooked up to the wireless network. Um, crap, I'm terrible at talking to recordings. Always tripping over my tongue. I do the same thing when it comes to talking to um, answering machines as well. So, anyway, returning from my secret squared again. <clears throat> um, anyway, like I said, I just got on the wireless there. And it was really great because um, because of my visual impairment, I can't read normal sized uh, print and normal sized text. And so, in order to read the Bible and stuff like that, I either have to have a magnification device that I can put the text under, or I have to read the texts online. And so, since we had wireless, I was able to um, to read the text online this time, and in the both in the English translation that I prefer, which is by the way the New American Standard Version. It's closest to the Greek, so far as I've found. Uh, but also, the um, site that I go to not only has the, the NAS uh, version, but also the uh, several uh, manuscripts of the original Greek text. Um, the only problem is, admittedly, I'm a classicist. I shouldn't have to rely on this, but I am used to um, the uh, editors putting in punctuation. And so uh, the, the, the site that I go to that has the Greek text just has the straight Greek text without any capitalization or punctuation or any other kind of editing. So that can actually be a bit challenging, even for me now. But it, again, it's nice to have, to be able to read along with the other folks um, and uh, to be able to read the original, the original Greek when we're doing the New Testament studies. Don't yet know Hebrew. I'd like to be able to learn Hebrew at some point. Uh, finding the time is going to be an issue, as it is for me in many cases. Um, and so, uh, but uh, anyway, as I mentioned on Twitter, um, when we wrapped up our Bible study, um, I jumped on Twitter and showed everyone how cool it was and what you could do with it and what cool people you can follow on there. Um, I introduced them to the great and amazing and awesome space tweep community, uh, both those within NASA and Astros and all that and those outside of NASA who are space enthusiasts of various kinds and who have various backgrounds and they were awed by by how cool you know it was that it was such a diverse community and and they were they were amazed that the Astros were tweeting from space and a lot of them didn't even know that which was pretty sad but it was also pretty cool that I could tell them about it and so I encouraged them you know to get on Twitter and to to follow these really cool folks that I've gotten to know and love over about, for about a year now. So, um, anyway, kudos to all y'all out there. Yes, I did just say y'all. There's no plural English equivalent of you, uh, you know, like there's in other languages, so, anyway, I, I won't go off on that, on that, uh, tangent. Um, anyway, not a lot to say other than what I have said. Oh, yes, by the way, don't mind the mess behind me, please, please don't mind the mess behind me. Um, I, I am usually more organized than this. So, um, lie. Um, <coughs> anyway, I will, uh, <laughs> I will talk to you all later. TTFN. Bye. LOS.